Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today I got this old BB gun. It belonged to Monkey's father. And uh, doesn't want to build up pressure. This is a Daisy 880 uh, 177. So I don't know much about these, these 880s. I've had several of them, but I never had one apart, never had to take one apart. But um, I've done some reading online. We're gonna we're gonna check the seals out and see if that might be it. And I'll explain to you what else it's doing. So stick around. Uh, another late night video. It's 11:45 right now. So let's see if we can figure this out, and I'll get you a different camera angle here. Okay, guys. So, like I said, I don't I don't know much about these Daisy 880s. Um, it just uh, <clears throat> this one was made in Rogers, Arkansas, USA, and it's a 177 cal, the 880 BB or 177 cal uh, pellet. Um, it will pump once, and it'll shoot, it'll fire, but, ant, but, um, it, it doesn't even have the power to, I mean, it would sting you if, if you got shot with it, but it doesn't have the power to even go through, uh, an aluminum can, a pop can, so there is a... There's a lot number on here and a patent number. I might try to look them up. But what I've seen online is is uh, these seals inside here go bad. Like I said, I've never had one of these parts. Not sure how to do it. It is unloaded. Um, I don't know if that's an oil hole or a screw hole. So this thing may have been, been apart before. I'm not sure. But I do remember I've shot this gun a few times. And you could pump it up. And it would pump up pressure. But right now... You know, just one time, I mean, is all you get with it. Well, you know, I don't want to chamber this thing. Make sure there's no BB in it, but, yeah. See, it's not even, it's not even doing anything right now, so. Um, all right. Let me release this pressure on this thing. I'm going to go to the door just in case. Hang on. Okay, so uh, I was just pumping it up, and you, I can hear it losing some air pressure there. So let's go ahead. The uh, seal kit for this thing, a rebuild kit, is like 30 bucks. I'm, I'm not, I mean, it's an old BB gun. Come on, but I would like to get it working. We have some very troublesome squirrels out here that's why we haven't even had to we haven't got to put a garden in we didn't get to put one in last year the year before last you know i was growing them onions they were doing good and the, the squirrels just ate them all and now they're um getting in in monkeys bird feeders eating all the bird feed so the birds don't have anything they're knocking over the bird the bird baths um they're just nuisance so that's one reason why I want to get it working. But also it was her dad's, so. Uh, but I don't know how to take one of these apart because I've never had one of these apart before, so. Alright. Looks like just push that pin out. Seeing this, where are you at here? Okay, this is awkward. Little pin right here, right there. That pin, pull that out. And you know what? Hang on, I'm going to grab a paper towel so I can put these things on here and try not to lose them. That's better. Now, let's... I 
think this slides just slides right out. There we go. I got some seals falling out here. That feels like plastic. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be plastic or rougher, but it's plastic. Uh, maybe they're extra seals because out here it wouldn't do anything. Okay, there's a chip out of this thing. Okay, now, yeah, this, this seal right here, it's like a felt seal. And those two O-rings, they're like 30 bucks. As you can see, it's well oiled up. Now i got a gnat messing with me. So I'm guessing, yeah, that's kind of buggered up there, too. Um, here. I don't know. There's a pin right here. That is really buggered up there. I'm not sure. Let's just take this out of here. I don't know what all these uh, this other stuff is from. Yeah, it's got a little hole in it. I don't know if it's supposed to be there. This is all cracked up. But it's identical to that. Yeah, that looks, uh, I think that's just a roll pin that gets pushed out and this whole piece will come off, but I don't know if you can see that. That right there. And like, these other two things, they, these might be spacers for here, down here. I'm not sure what these are for. Because one's, okay, this one has a hole in it. Okay, they both have a hole in it. But my understanding is what I've seen online, I did research it a little bit is that this one here is usually the one that holds the pressure well not usually it is the one that holds the pressure and they say soak it in um, brake fluid and I've done that on more than one occasion on different stuff and what it does is swell the seals up and makes it tighter a tighter fit but I'm not sure where these came from so I'm going to have to Google this and find out and find out where these go because I don't know. <laughs> All right, let me do some research. Let me clean my hands up. Let me do some research on this and I'll get back with you. Okay. So, what I found out is, this is a 1977. Um, they started out in 1972 and ran to these white spacers here. Uh, 72. Hang on a second, let me check this. Okay, so... 1973 to 1977 
they had the blue metallic. This is the blue metallic. Okay, mid to late 70s had gun metal finish. Uh, and April 1979 is when they went to satin black. So this is um, this is the blue metallic. So this I think this is a 77 because 1972 until 1974 they had these white spacers. From 19 from April 1974 until October of 1976 they didn't have this white spacer. Okay, 19, November 1976 has white spacers continued until the present day. Um, so this being the uh, the blue metallic with the lot number, um, that's why I'm thinking this is a 77 because that's the last year and it had a lot number instead of a registration number. And... And it was the last year that the um, that they had the blue metallic. The last year blue metallic is seen. So I know it's it's not. And I know because of the lot number of the in the seventies of when this had begun. So patent pending ended. And patent numbers began. Okay, so 70, 1975, October of 1975 is the first year seen with a stamp, stamped patent number. And this has a patent number. It doesn't say patent pending. Okay, so I know it can't be a 78 because of the color of it. Um... They went to, uh, and then, you know, 79 is satin black. Um, it's not a gunmetal finish. It is a blue, blue metallic. And that ended in October of 1977 is when the blue metallic ended. So, um, from what I'm coming up with this uh, lot number is, is this is a 1977. Um... So, yeah, all the parts are pretty much the same. It being that old, now I don't know where he got it. Monkey doesn't know where he got it. And her mom's asleep, so we can't ask her. So, this being the year that it is and that it belonged to her dad, I might consider putting some new parts in this thing after all. Hi, Monk. Hey. Monk's going to the bathroom. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to clean this up. See, there's still a lot of oil in this thing. And I think I am going to try to soak this in some brake fluid. Just for nostalgia reasons and that it was her dad's. I mean, who knows? Maybe he bought the damn thing new. We don't know. Well, her mom might know, but like I said, she's asleep. So I'm going to get this cleaned up and uh, I think I'm going to try to soak this into some brake fluid. In fact, I might go ahead and tear the rest of that down and yeah, it's going to be a late night, but I don't sleep anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and tear the rest of this down. And um, get into here, and I'll film that for you, but I'll speed it up. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster. Never really notice what you want 
With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palms. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever wanna give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed. Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Right there. Seventy-seven. I'm just trying right now, I'm trying to see if it has a smooth bore or a rifled bore. That's hard to see. It's a smooth bore. So that's putting me about in the right range of a 77. There are some. There's some stuff in here, so I think I'll probably end up have I'll end up buying a rebuild kit for this eventually. I just use it for small gain. And uh you know, just playing around with it, but this okay this is nasty looking in here let me get this out here for you Should pull right out here okay I don't know how well you're going to be able to see inside that see all that stuff inside there It is missing a screw and one was loose. I'm just wondering if someone didn't have this part before and replaced something and but didn't clean it. See all that stuff there? All that black stuff? Shouldn't be in there. It's real hard and down inside. Look at that. Over on this end here. Oh yeah, it's real. Let's shove this through here. Oh yeah, it's got all kinds of black gunk in there. That may have something to do with why it wasn't sealing. But I know it worked. Because I pumped it up a few times and shot it out back, and it, it seemed to be, you know, fair, fairly powerful. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get this all cleaned up. That may be the issue right there, because I could hear air leaking out of it, but I couldn't tell where from. Let me get this cleaned up. And I think, it, I think it came out like that. I'm gonna clean this up real good. And uh, I'm gonna soak that in some brake cleaner just for a little bit, and until I get this cleaned up, and we'll see if that helped any. Cause these. That that is definitely feels like rubber, but this feels like plastic. So that's plastic. That's rubber. The rubber feels pliable. I'm not going to mess with this with this one. Okay. Um, this is rubber. Pretty pliable that spring goes in here. So I may soak that for a few minutes. Alright, let me get cleaned up and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Hang tight. But I'm thinking all that black gunk up in there, I think's coming from this piece right here. 
because it looks looks pretty ragged. Well, that's not going to seal, you know, but here's the seal here. So I don't know how this would get past this seal to get up in where it was. But, again, let's get it cleaned up, get some of these parts soaking. Um, you know, like I told Monkey and she agreed, I mean, it's not working now. It's worth a shot to try to get it to work. And if it don't, then I'll, I'll go ahead and rebuild it. If it was something from the 80s, I wouldn't care. I mean, if I bought this at a yard sale or something, I wouldn't really care about it too much, you know what I mean? But it was her dad, so... I'm going to see what I can do to save it. You guys know I'm into vintage and nostalgic stuff, so so I think this is called a wiper here. But that see that looks pretty good. But see, so this would go in here like this. Like that. You know? So how this black stuff got up in here I don't know yeah I think it's just kinda like an oiler um, but I am gonna soak that I am, I am gonna soak this one The tube looks great inside there, so. so I don't think I can block this hole off. Can't can't get my thumb in there to block that hole. But <laughs> alright. Let's continue. Okay, so I think <clears throat> that other piece with all that black stuff com that's coming out of it, I think that is the problem so let's go ahead and put this back together and I'll speed you up for this just like the street lights lit this town like a fire in a blaze gotta burn it down can't be afraid to leave this out we got this far don't know how for a little break. Break time's over. Let's continue on. We had one missing there, so we're just going to put it back the way it was. I'm pretty sure I don't have any screws this size. I mean, I might have in there somewhere, but I'm not going to look right now. Because I think I'm going to have to tear it apart again to uh, rebuild it. I soaked a couple of these seals in brake fluid. So...
this. I can still hear it. And this is coming clear out, though. Oops, sorry. I'm going to have to get new seals, put new seals in it, but that's all right. But that's like coming clear out of there. And I don't think, I don't think it's supposed to come that far out. All right. Let me study this, make sure I got that in there right. But yeah, I think that's... I remember it coming out too far before. Okay. Let me check up on this. I think it's right, but we just have to get new seals and put in it. Okay, everything seems right. It's just not... Uh, Just the seals are bad, so all right, let's go ahead and put these back in here. Okay guys, maybe that brake fluid will work in overnight, but I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a little oil on it. But yeah, I think it just needs rebuilt. Because whatever that is down in there, that, that black stuff there is what was getting up inside. Okay, now let me oil it up, get my mess cleaned up. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay guys, so I can hear it leaking. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. But. Yeah, so it's definitely leaking. So that's what it is. It just needs new seals, so. All right, guys, so there you go. Just uh, just messing around on a Thursday night, late at night. Man, it's like 2 o'clock now. I've been messing with this thing. Well, I took a couple breaks, but anyway, so there it is, 1977, Daisy, uh, 880. So, yeah, uh, as soon as I get some extra cash, we'll get some parts for this thing, we'll rebuild it, and we'll go shoot at some cans or something. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Gone for now. Y'all have a great weekend. Tomorrow's the start of the weekend, so y'all be safe. Take care. We'll see you next one. Bye-bye. I think I fixed it. That's the entrance hole. That's the exit. We'll go outside. And I'll show you. Okay, guys, I don't know how this shoots, but I'm going to go for somewhere right between these letters and these letters.
or anywhere on that side. Let me zoom you in. I'm going to be. I'll show you. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, I gotta bring you clear around. Hang on. Alright, I'm gonna be just to the right of that tree. And I'm gonna go try to go right between them two letters there. So I gotta get this thing loaded and pumped up. Okay guys. So I'm going back over by that tree. So give me a second. I'm gonna bear down on it. And we'll see. We'll see if I can hit it from back there. I should be able to. Fire. Shooting a little low. So let me get loaded up. We'll do it one more time. I'm gonna go about right there. We'll see what happens. Okay guys. I'm going to be going for about right here, anywhere right in here. I'm ready to go. All i got to do is take it off safety. We'll be ready to go. So give me a second to get back here and get bared down on it. And I'll tell you ready. You can watch for it. Oh, nice. Went in there. Came out there. Awesome. Okay, guys. Whoops. Hang on a second. I'll tell you what I did to fix it. Now, I don't know how long my lens was messed up. But it was like... I don't know if I put fingerprints on it or what. But it was nasty. So, if, if it was bad, I'm sorry. But what I did was that spring... I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was that little spring in there, about this long, about as big around as my pinky. It held that one, like piston with with a with a, a seal on it. It it, it works kind of on the same basis as a, as a master cylinder in a car, but it held that one, and the one you pump with that goes up in there it holds them two together. I just stretched it out. And I pumped it up about 10 or 12 times and went out front and it made a good, good loud pop. And I was like, ooh, we got to go back and try this. And I tried it. And I was like, okay, now I got to show you guys. So if you have one of these and your seals look okay, but it's acting up, take it apart and try to stretch that spring. Also, there was something about these, these rear sights too. I think it was... 1978 or 79 might have been 78 was the last year they had the screw on sights on the rear uh, they were welded on after that i'll put it in the description but I, I think it was uh 79 when they started welding these sights on some i'm i'm about 99 98.5 percent sure it's a 77 so and it's still working <laughs> Alright guys, for real this time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye bye guys.